Every coach's dream is to hoist the Lombardi Trophy as Confetti rains down and you have a chance to do that for the first time this week. What would a win mean to you? I'm gonna say everything. Like you said, every coach dreams of this moment so it would mean everything to me. All the work we put in is to prepare for this moment when we have the opportunity to call ourselves champions. Media day complete, you earn 10 staff points. I don't think it does matter what you say here. Uh, either way, you're going to get staff points and that's it. I would like to get a kind of buff, debuff situation going on with the team here. Uh, like, I don't know. Everything uh, adds awareness but reduces stamina or it, it improves stress or I, I don't know, something like that. That would be really nice, right? Uh, this week, not a lot to take care of, actually. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, the season is almost over. We're going to be playing the Chargers here. They beat the Dolphins. They beat the Ravens. And they beat the Colts on their way here. Uh, we beat the Giants and the Cardinals. Uh, and we didn't have to beat anybody in the wildcard round. So that is, of course, a very, very positive. Um, very much appreciated right there. Um, apart from that, we also have the yearly awards to take a look at. That is something I'm just going to be going through this real quick because I actually want to get to the Super Bowl, of course. Um, so Justin Herbert is uh, in here in the MVP ratings. There's nobody from our team, which I do find a little bit unfair. Coach of the year, that's me. There we go. Boom, top. <laughs> Top rated. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, I'm going to take that. All right. Offensive player of the year. Anybody in here? Nope. I don't see anybody. That hurts. Defensive player. Anybody in here? Nope. That hurts. Offensive rookie. Anybody? Yes. Tory Horton. That's nice. Offensive rookie of the year. Legacy score 266. That works. Defensive rookie. There is. Ah, uh, yeah. Tomani Jackson actually made it in. That is cool. He also returns from injury today, so that's a big one. Best quarterback, Bryce Young, listed down here, uh, eighth ranked. We're going to take that. Best running back, nobody. Best wide receiver, nobody. Best offensive lineman, Ricky Stromberg, AJ Jackson, Rasheem Betts, and Lincoln Tomlinson. Yeah, that one makes sense. <laughs> Best defensive lineman, nobody from our team. Best linebacker, there we go. Khalil Mack, I would have liked to see someone else here, but whatevs. Uh, Jeremiah Torre is again in here, gets some points towards his legacy. Best defensive backs, uh, let's see, nope. Best kicker, yes, Kate York, that's nice. And there we are. All right, we're through with the annual awards. Take a look at that. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Uh, next up, let's take a look at the Chargers. Justin Herbert in all his hairy glory. 27 years old, X-Factor, uh, 12th ranked QB in the league based on his overall rating. That's uh, 94, but he does have buffs going on, so that's always going to be dangerous. Will Howard is a backup. Joe Milton is a backup. Running back, Jonathan Brooks, 22.85. Austin Eckler is still there. And Isaiah Spiller, 24.81. Very good running back room. Seathan Carter, 29.71. Wide receiver is Quentin Johnson, 23.94. Mike Williams, Sky Moore joining from the Chiefs. Uh, Anthony Wharton is here. Uh, Chelly Tolbert and uh, Darius Davis. A very solid wide receiving group. Um, definitely like what's going on here. Um, Quentin Johnson, certainly the one to watch out for. Super young and very highly rated already. Tight end, Gerald Everett, 31.85. Dangerous as always. Peyton Hendershot and Eric Ali are the backups here. The offensive line, Rashawn Slater, <clears throat> 26, 26.95, and Tommy Fitzsimmons, 22.67. That's a rookie. Very good player on the left tackle. Left guard, Zion Johnson, 25.86. Jonah Savailinaya. Savailinaya. There we go. That, that name. You say it. You say it. Jordan McFadden has a backup. Center, Evan Brown, 75, 28, 28 years old. Trey Hill, as the back of Jamery Salier on right guard, 25.80. Micah Mascua, right tackle Josh Simmons, 22.80. And Blake Miller as a back. Actually, two pretty good drafted players here. Wow, that's nice. The offensive line is not otherworldly, I would say. Rashawn Slater, certainly very, very good. Zion Johnson, pretty good. Evan, Evan Brown looks like a solid option. Strength awareness are good. Uh, Jamery Salier on right guard, 25.80. And Josh Simmons, 22 and 80. Looking good. Good. 
On defense, Rasheem Green, 28.75, and Derek Moore, that's rookie, 20.72. Looking good, actually, but, you know, again, nothing crazy. Right edge, Kean White, 26.82. Ethan Burke, that's a rookie. I think he should be playing. Greg Gaines is a backup here. Nothing more. D-tackle, Jerzan Newton, 22.90. Otito Ogbonia and Jonathan Ford behind him. That is a very, very good setup here. Very dangerous looking. The linebackers, Tuli Tupulo, two, there we are, 22.95, and Juan Howard, 22.74, nothing more than a backup. Kenneth Murray Jr., one of the best midline backers. I love going for him when I do franchises, and if he's available, of course. Uh, Dan Handley and Jeremy Banks completing this room here. Joey Bosa, 30 and 92, coming from the outside linebacker position. Jalen Ford, 23.78. Good succession planning here. The linebacker is certainly the more dangerous group, I would like to say. On corner, we've got Asante Samuel Jr. We've got Kalen King. We've got Cameron Dantzler Sr., Jasir Taylor, and Dean Leonard. These two are crazy good. Going to be locking down the field, no questions asked. Lowy Gilman, 27.86, and JT Woods, 25.78, completing this room here. Derwin James Jr., this is a strong safety, 29 and 98, and Major Burns, 23 and 75 uh, as, as his backup. But Derwin James, man, 98 rated. Is he the best? Is he the best strong safety? No, only fourth ranked. Jesus Christ. All right, kicker, Kaimi Fairbairn, and the punter is J.K. Scott, looking like a 12-year-old dude. And there we go. All right, time to set up weekly strategy for the last time in this franchise series. I'm actually very excited to really get to the grid of it in the new one. Can't wait to get going. Here we go. All right, splits for everybody. We've got a lot of faces back. Damani Jackson is back. That is super important. Offensive game plan. Short passing, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. I think Tuli Tupiloto will certainly be very dangerous. Um, but I feel like getting some buffs for the inside run blocking might be positive. But I think the blitz counter has to be the way to go. 100% fitness, that is great. Iki McWanu, Joe, Joe Farmer is back, Rasheem Betts, uh, Jawan James, yeah. Alright, like the setup, Chibola will be taken over on right guard. I already fixed that in the depth chart. Um, I don't expect any injuries in trading because we're not trading really hard. Uh, let's go. 200 yards rushing. I don't know. I don't know about that one, though. Two plus passing touchdowns. Ah, let's just leave it at that. Who cares? All right, 20 points. Let's go 300. And again, 450 offensive yards. On the weekly game plan, do we, do we get... I'm going to put my defense on this spot here. Force three plus turnovers. And in, uh, instead of Malik Mustafa, no, actually, I think I'm going to keep everybody in here. Instead of Rasheem Betts, we could train Joe Farmer a little bit more. Uh, that would make sense uh, just to ensure that my starting player uh, gets, gets at least some experience points. All right, good news. No injuries. Lindsay Rain is the only one still on that, uh, on that list. And I personally would love it if I could kind of go... And, um, I don't know, just kind of give him uh, like, a, like a fitness pill or like give him an injection just for one game but have a, a higher chance of, of risking more injuries, something like that. I think that would be really cool and add a certain element of, um, of strategy uh, to how to handle injuries. Right now you can only like just, you know, sit it out and that's it. Not much more to do. Uh, boost break tackle for half packs. I think I like this. We're gonna go with this one here uh, And apart from that we're gonna be boosting the offensive line as much as we can today um, Don't have that many points to spend, but I think those eight can go here as well uh, Just to make sure that we have Yeah, as as much power going on here as we as we can get going uh, let's upgrade the players here. I don't expect a lot because we're only doing split training. But Landon Jackson goes up. Who's been very good? Who has been really been very, very good? I've enjoyed this player a lot. Let's see. When did I draft him? Fourth round. Pick three. All right. Loving this one. Loving this. Branson Robinson showed last week that he can do the work. Can do the work. He's only 20 years old. And uh, already 76 rated. I like this. Bo Clark also going up here in uh, overalls. 
And now, guys, we are ready to play the Super Bowl. No um, further delays. Everything is settled. Everything is done. Final game of this season. Here we go. Super Bowl will be played in the Mercedes-Benz Arena in Atlanta. And we are seeing our team getting ready here. Justin Herbert showing off the uniforms. I chose a very different look here for the Chargers. I gave them the navy color rush. It also has a variant on the on the helmet, actually, which is pretty cool uh, because it means that they have the um, the lightning is also navy colored. Uh, when you take a look at the helmet, you might see that it's just a really cool detail. I wanted to give him a special occasion uniform here. We are rocking the 2015 uh, color rush variant, all white. I wanted to go all white for this occasion. Plus, you know, like use a retro look here. The helmets are also chosen to fit that. I chose the current helmets as a nod to our current season. Or is it the old ones? I'm not sure if I which ones I picked in the end. But uh, it doesn't matter. It's a it's a really nice look. I would love for them to like also create. Two alternate helmets would be cool, right? One all black, and then change the silver to a white. Is that a sacrilege in me saying that? I just think that would look so much cooler. Have an all white helmet with a really clean uh, Panthers logo on there. I think that would be nice. What I do like is that these uniforms seem to be more shiny. Like more plasticky and less fabric looking. Tube hybrid. There we go. One rush, seven yards, moving forwards. Here we go. Halfback ISO, second and three. Let's see. If we go to Roman James, two to two below two. All right, dig deep. Players run slightly faster than normal. Here we go. Chuba Hubbard. Powering forwards. Taken down here at the 40 yard line. Everybody's pointing. Chuba Hubbard. Just does. What he does best. Play action Y over. I'd like to hit Tommy Tremble on this one here. I've got heavy breathing. I think Kenneth Murray Jr. will be will be ready to stop him. And there we go. That was very well done here. Drag backwards. A lot of power coming from the players to usher him backwards. But there we go. This is really nice. I also really dig the fact that they add the correct Super Bowl logo onto the jerseys. That is an awesome addition. I really like this. There we go. Chasing Chuba Hubbard is Henley coming around the side here. Bosa with the stop. Dragon spacing is up next. Inside zone, right to left. Frank Gore. There you go, Derwin James giving up the chase here, and Frank Gore Jr. powering forward, number four. Pushes him out of bounds, and an insane 32-yard rush from the young man. What a great job here. Number 32 was there, but he kind of gets around him well. That is nice. That is a really nice move. Let's see one more, Frank. Come on. Let's go. Straight run. Straight run. Shove backwards by number three. That's Derwin James Jr. Is that an injury? I hope not. Man, I love the fact that they made the fabric look different. You know, it would have been way easier just to... Just do the, do the color, do the uniform and leave it at that. But they actually really went for a realistic look here. In terms of... What what did the uniforms look like back then? What material were they made of? That's nice. Four rushers. Those are the exclamation marks. Come on, Chuba. Go, 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 go. And we're actually held. Fourth and goal. That is annoying. That is slightly annoying. I would have liked to get this. We're going to get take the field goal here. Katie York. All right. Don't get the ball away on time. <clears throat> so far, it's only been us. So far, it's only been us. Going to take this field goal here. 
get the first points on the board. No need for any theatrics. There we go. Was that difficult? Hell no. Would I have liked to score a touchdown? Hell yeah. But it is what it is, alright? We're just going to have to work with what we get in this game. I would like to pressure them into, you know, into having to adjust to me and not me adjusting to them. Chuba Hubbard injured. That's not good. That is not good, but Frank Leonard, uh, Frank Gore should be able to take over. Jeremiah Trotter. Trotting along. Yes, I went there. Zero one trap. Just a dead head rush. So far, we haven't been passing a lot. I am, to be honest, kind of respectful of their um, of their pass defense. All right, here we go. Tory Horton, Tommy Tremble. Let's go. The coverage there was always there. Caleb King covering that throw. Fourth and ten. I'm not happy. I'm not really happy with how that one turned out because we had um, we had the initiative kinda, and then we got we got stuck. All right, good shot here by Steven Nelson at the 34. It was still still not far back. Come on, defense. And another one. All right, great job. Let's let's utilize this. Let's not make let's not be wasteful here. A touchdown is a must-have now in the first uh, half here. There you go, Terrace Marshall Jr. Pointed, and we're powering forward, and he's injured. A lot of hard hitting, but I love the fact that, you know, when he was running, he was pointing. He was like, block that dude there. Nice shoes, by the way, right? Here we go. Let's go to the slip screen. Those tend to work quite well unless we get stuck. Then it's absolute dog poop. But here we go. We're going to drag back. Here's a pass. I want to see a nice block. There we go. And that is a nice first down. At the 38. There you go. Tuba Hubbard. Leg cramps. Alright. Let's use Schwartz for the time being. I don't mind that. He's a very fast player. And uh, he should be able to just keep us keep us uh, moving. Just like that. Just like that. That is basically what I was looking for. Get another first down. Keep moving forwards. Post wheel drag. There we are. Tommy Tremble. Maybe Mingo will be open. Maybe. I I don't think so though. Plus I'm kind of scared to throw it back there with Dermot James Jr. That's hello with Gilman. How do we approach this? Justin Herbert watching from the sidelines. Anthony Schwartz now right to left. Tommy Tremble. Ah, nice! What a beautiful curve here. But did he step out of bounds? That's the question I'm asking. One minute to go. One minute to go. They can't be happy with this one here. They had him in double coverage and he kind of evades everybody. Gilman would have stopped him back there, but... <clears throat> Let's see. Inside zone. Let's get that clock taken. Let's get that clock ticking here. Franco. Oh, hello. Going backwards. Going backwards. Number 90. Hmm. That was a very, very decisive stop. Clean. Decisive. And the clock keeps ticking. That is, that's what I wanted to see. Inside zone split. Here we are. Three, two, one. Let's just let it take under 10 seconds. Here we go. Nice blocking. Nice blocking here. Chuba Hubbard held. We're going to call our first timeout. 19 seconds on the clock. Timeout. Called double slant time. Let's go. Third and goal. 
It is third and goal. The coverage looks to be pretty good. Can we? Do we have a clever play? Play action read. Tommy Tremble would be my preferred target. There we go. He kind of, he kind of stopped. That was awesome. That was really clever of him. Completely opened him up. His route would have led him further towards the left-hand side, but not like this. That was clever. Just keep an eye. He just stops. I didn't do that. He did that by himself. He would have been in the path of Eloy Gilman. So either the run was bugged or he was just really clever. I like it. I like it. There we go. Inside zone run. We're starting out at 25. Here we go. Right to left. Number nine. Number nine. That's Kenneth Murray Jr. He's breathing hard every play. He seems to be pretty tired. Play action, deep cross go. This one is a nice one. But unless you've got very good coverage in the backfield. Because then I don't like it a lot. Here we go. Handback lead dive. Let's go this one. There we go. Chuba Hubbard going forward. Third and inches. What I want to see from the veteran. And he's not that old. Just putting that out there. Because I, cause I called him a veteran. It doesn't mean that he has to be old. Let's mix things up here. Tommy Tremble. Psych. <laughs> It's inches, all right? It's just inches. Going forward. <clears throat> First and ten. Third quarter. At the 37-yard line. Mesh spot. Single back formation. Tory Horton, Tommy Tremble. We're kind of in the zone now, right? At least I am really, uh, you know, like pretty focused knowing very well where my players will go. I've got faith in the players that I do have. We had our games during the season where I probably didn't talk like this. But right now, I've got complete faith in what they're doing. They're just really doing a great job for the most part. <laughs> nah, seriously though. It is... It's a good feeling, all right, to know that I do have options, even if I've got injuries. I know which players might work out well. And I'm not saying that everything is, is, is absolute gold. But, you know, going for a pass like this in a double coverage situation, but being able to trust my man to take the ball and just continue this one here, that that's important. Darnell Washington, let's go right to left. I do hope the rushers will be there, and they are. Ah, oh, but I had to get the ball away quickly. Ethan Burke with an injury. That's too far out for a field goal, so we will be kicking it. Going to be putting this very far towards the left here. I do hope it's not too steep, but I don't want to see him coming back. At the 14, that's actually not bad. Justin Herbert. So far today... He's had not the most successful game. Three points on the board. All right. Momentum is very much uh, at peace in this game. Chuba Hubbard. I tried to find a different route. Second and ten. Not getting forward. We might, you know, if we hand it over once more, we might even uh, see a draw here. Might see a draw here. Tommy Tremble, third and one, fighting forward. Incredibly important. And now you can see the the, um, the flashes very well on the heads of the Chargers. The lightning bolts with the dark blue in there. That's really nice. There we go. Chuba Hubbard, the first down. That's all I want to see. As the camera cuts out. Derwin James Jr. here in a pushing match. Tight end angle time. Right to left. That's Polk. Looking for you. Held on to it. Second and four. Now we just keep on moving. Today, again, it's not going to be one of those crazy scoring games. But it is going to be 
just a consistent moving uh, offense and that is good enough that is good enough for me right to left and here we go oh the mm, coverage was there all right third and three calling another timeout they are adding pressure now. All right, let's 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 see if we can hit it with a miss spot here. Tremble or Terrace Marshall Jr. Yes, we can. First down. There we go. Another timeout called, and now they are bleeding timeouts, which works just as well for me. Let's get that clock ticking. There we go. Five yards or four yards. That's good enough for me. Inside zone, right to left. Frank Orr Jr. They are bringing up the players, actually. We could see... Let's go with a weak flood here. Horton or Schwartz. Those are the dudes I'm looking for. I'm, You know, there's bound to be a rush coming. And Horton gets us a first down at the 38. And now they don't have any timeouts left. The noise is deafening. The noise is deafening in my earphones as well. Here we go. Chuba Hubbard just going forward. The clock is running down now. Clock is running down. There is no way that I want to give him back the ball. If we take a field goal, we've won. If we get a touchdown, we've won. If we give him the ball, then that would suck, right? Don't want to see that happening. Left. To right. In three, two, and one. And there we go. Just powering forward through the masses. Third and three. We're gonna go with another one. Halfback ISO. The I form close formation. Ticking down even further. Heavy breathing back there. I would replace him to be honest. I would I would make sure to have another player there that's just a little bit fitter. Asante Samuel Jr. with a stop here on Chuba Hubbard, who today has really been, again, a driving force of choice. Not of need, but of, of choice. I liked going with him. It felt good to have him running. There we go. Once again, push, 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 push. We're going to call our first time out now. Second and one. Going to call our first time out. And... Guys, it's not a high-scoring Super Bowl. But it does feel good to be on the precipice of writing history as the Panthers. Getting Bryce Young his first ring. Here we go. Another first down. And we're going to call it first and goal. First and goal. I'm going to attempt one pass. And uh, if that doesn't work, then I'm going to be taking a field goal. Tremble, Sinot, those are my options. That's a flag. That, is that pass interference? That would be hilarious. That is hilarious. All right, we're, <laughs> we're going to take it. On opposing one. We've got one second left, though. So, you know, do we go for it? I feel like I feel like we should. I feel like we should go for it. We're gonna set up this one here. Halfback slam. But we're gonna see if we can hit him with a uh, with a touchdown. I would actually find that to be funny. Horton Mingo Tremble. Let's see. Can we hit someone here? Yes, we. Oh, and he drops it at the last possible second. Never mind. Tory Horton. Could have immortalized himself, but we win nonetheless. 10 and 3. And Bryce Young cannot believe it. Super Bowl champions, Carolina Panthers. Chuba Hubbard elated. Everybody celebrating. Confetti raining. Fair play to Justin Herbert. Never got going today. Tommy Tremble is the MVP. Of course he is. And here we go. Taking some selfies. JC Horn. 
Here's the Lombardi Trophy. Tory Horton. Yeah, you could have had it. You could have had it. And this is really nice. Bryce Young. With the trophy. I'd like to see that someday. I'd like to see that someday. I really think that he deserves it. Well done, my man. Well done. I also like the replay part of uh, the Super Bowl game again. Uh, it's just always nice to see some of those plays that I probably have forgotten about already. Not all seriousness. There was nice plays in there, man. Frank Gore was great. I enjoyed Tommy Tremble. As always, he was fighting like crazy. We were, it was a gritty game. It was a gritty game against the Chargers team that was never uh, letting up. That was never easy. Bryce Young, 142 yards, 70% completion rate, one touchdown. That is good. On the rushing side, Chuba Hubbard, 71. Again, it's not a game changer, but he's one that is always there when you need him. Frank Gore did well. Tyron Davis Price lost two yards. Tommy Tremble, 57, and a touchdown. It wasn't a high scoring passing game. All right, Torrey Horton with that drop. That would have been it. That would really have been it. I would have liked him to have that. On the defense, Danny Stutzman and DeSante Samuel Jr. pairing up for solo tackles. Total tackle leader, Louis Gilman. Of course, some tackles for loss here. Uh, sack for Brandon Dorius. Zero interceptions and kicking Kate York. One field goal. In the end, of course, that could have made the difference. And with this, we will conclude the final gameplay episode in this franchise series. At a tradition, I will be making one more episode. It's going to be the off-season and the pre-season, just prepping the team, uh, basically ready for next season. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure what I will be doing there, um, if I even want to do that, or if I'm not just going to end this on a high uh, with a team that has really earned a spot in history here. Winning a Super Bowl against the Chargers, who have been pretty good all season long with the team that we built from scratch i would like to say of course there's a few pieces in here that were there before bryce young of course chuba hubbard jonathan mingo uh tommy tremble to name a few Ike mcwadu yes there were pieces in here but we did add all of these key elements that are now going to be the future of this team and that's basically where i want to leave the team in a good spot um, leave him uh, ready to defend this, ready to to have a legacy here, uh, be a dynasty, and really, really uh, have have a fantastic glittering future. So there we go, final gameplay episode done. Next one will just be a kind of cleaning, wrapping up episode uh, type of thing. Um, for now, I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's game. It was a more tense one. Uh, which one was the most tense Super Bowl you watched ever? Ever. Put that in the comments down below. Always interested in that. As always, guys, gonna say thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for making this special for me. Another season over. Another franchise series completed. Almost completed. So I'm gonna say thank you so much for that. Making me feel great. Stay awesome, everybody. And see you next time. Mm -hmm.